Hi, we're just going to show you how to put an L400 in. Notice I've got a straight line, at least two meters straight, going into the base station. Initially, I put the line over the top of the base station, through this line here, not the center line of the L400, but the line that goes through the second hole in. I then pull an excess of wire out this way, and lay out under the base station is the red input this side, and I tie a knot so that I know that's the red wire. Black wire this way, and I just tie these two together nice and neatly. Notice I've got some excess wire here, but when I tuck that back into the transmission tunnel, I've got some spare wire so that I haven't got a ball of wire inside the transmission tunnel. I've placed the wire, the base station now, over the top of the wire configuration. Note, it goes through here, red wire comes in here, black wire comes in this way, and then spurs off at 90 degrees, with the wires together outside the terminal. Unscrew the terminal cover. Like so. And I would replace the screws whilst we're just checking everything's working back in the holes, so that we don't lose them. Rip the wire clean, and then go to push this, taking it off through the base, the terminal, and up the Like so. Throwing that off, I'm going to place that in the red timber, like so. Then do the same with black wire. Now I've got the two wires in, I can then pull this here, so that I've got the wire nice and compact in there. There'll be spare wire here, I'm showing you, and that when we finish, can just be pegged down together, like so, it won't interfere with the signal. What we want to see now, with both the wires in, Green light. Green light flashing means we've got continuous service. It doesn't necessarily mean that the wires are the correct way round. So we'll now go to the robot and see if the actual wires are in the right way by testing the robot signal. Action. Okay, so let's have a little look underneath the base station now to see um, the layout underneath. I'm going to lift the base station like so. And you can see here how we've laid the wire out underneath the base station. Next, we're going to actually test that the robot docks. If we just take a look at the wire 
going into the base station. We've got a straight wire. Um, if we just look up beyond the base station there, it's faint, but you can just see it there. It's a straight line in. Okay, so we're going to now just test the robot, test the robot docks, check it docks onto the two sprung, to, sprung contact points nice and evenly. So if we go to the robot and uh, turn it on. Press the home button, press the home button again. We now watch the robot travel into the base station. Note that it travels on the outside, on the back of the machine, the left of the wheel. You see it dock. What we hope to do is to see that hit the two contact points centrally, which it has done. Also note here, we've just tidied up this wire on the outside. Close those together, and you'll then need to go round when you've got them. You're happy with the docking, just go round and secure all the rest of the base station. You'll find in the box there is a metal strip to make this more solid. I don't tend to fit it because it makes it quite impractical when you put that metal bar on the bottom of the base station to move the base station left and right. There's a groove in the wire that fits the wire. Every L400 that I've fitted so far, I have to use the bar and the dock absolutely fine. It should be on a good flat surface anyway. Okay. <laughs>